and starting a series here. Um, it's going to be kind of like a show and tell or an inspiration series, something to just kind of show people the way I build. Um, well, not the way I build, but the stuff that I build. I'm just going to be showing off my houses and things that I build in Minecraft in creative and in survival. And I will start with my first um, build in my uh, personal, my, my boyfriend, uh, my boyfriend made a land server for us to play on and it's just this uh, flat land that we use, um, uh, what is it called? We use world edit to just make streets and we're just gonna fill it up with as many builds as we can. Uh, he has one over here and I have three so far. I am a fast builder. <laughs> uh, he's been working on this one for a while and it's it's also a very large build. But uh, So I'm going to start you off with my first one on this uh, little server that we have here. It is a one bedroom, one bathroom house. And I will just kind of do a flyby here. It's, uh, yeah, it's very small. But I I like how it turned out. I'm I I'm known for building very small houses, so I'm trying to challenge myself and build bigger houses. And you'll kind of see how I uh, get or I get better at building bigger and bigger houses. Um, and I think this one looks kind of like a squished bee. A little bit just because of the yellow and the dark gray color but uh, I like it I like it as a squashed bee I think it's nice I'm not very good at landscaping uh, you can see I just kind of throw bushes and trees everywhere and grass I kind of liked this little feature I have here kind of goes down and up and I don't know I think it looks nice so this is like the driveway slash entrance area. Uh, I don't have a very grand entrance to this house. It's just this little doorway here. Not much to look at in the front. This is supposed to be kind of like a coat hanger. Um, but yeah, and then you walk in. So here's the fireplace, which you can see from all the different rooms. Uh, this is just a tiny hallway. Um, so, dining table, and I forgot to mention, this is the Modern HD 1.8 resource pack. I like using this resource pack for modern builds, and I also like using the Flows texture pack, or resource pack for builds. I think they're both really nice. I like the smooth, just flowy textures that they have. I I've uh, encountered a lot of resource packs that have um, block textures that like have an edge to them or like don't like flow smoothly and uh, I just like these because they're very smooth and I like how they changed certain blocks to look like real items I think that's nice and still kind of having the Minecraft effect on them they're not just like images pasted on, you know? So, um, so here's my dining table or dining area. It's a small house, so you know, kind of cramped here. Uh, and then this is the living room, I guess. Uh, this is a couch design that I like to use. I use quartz slabs and uh, quartz stairs. And then uh, this is supposed to be a TV. Uh, I'm not very good at building TVs, but I, I think it works. Um, and these are just supposed to be like cabinets or extra storage for your DVDs and your books and your Xbox controllers, PS4 controllers, whatever. Uh, this is just a bush tree thing. Um, you know, if you have an empty space, fill it up with a bush. You know, do it Corrales style. I'm sure you wouldn't mind. Um, and this is a small kitchen. I imagine a single person to live here since it's such a small house so i'm guessing this person doesn't cook
cook a lot. Uh, they maybe eat ramen on weekends and yeah, don't go out much. So so I decided to make a small kitchen. Uh, it's supposed to be a sink, and um, they have the uh, fridge texture on the iron door, which is really nice. I like this a lot. <laughs> and then uh, some cabinets and drawers and then the stove and I kind of put this um, iron trap door here uh, it looks like the um, what is it called uh, the smoke thing for on top of the uh, stove <laughs> I don't know what it's called it'll come back to me after this video and I'll feel stupid but um, this is a uh, another bookcase. I just thought maybe they could store their cookbooks here and other cooking stuff, but you know, you can't really decide what goes in the bookcase. It's just the texture. Yeah, uh, and then this is kind of like a little uh, bar area. You can just sit here and eat food, which is probably where this person eats most of the time because this is a giant dining table. Unless they wanted to watch TV. I could sit here and watch TV. I don't know. Uh, so I came up with this idea of having a corner window. So it wraps around the corner. And it's actually also a door, which uh, comes out here. Obviously, it doesn't move because it's Minecraft. But, um, you know, use your imagination. I, I just really liked this idea for maybe... Um, you know, having the outdoors kind of meet the indoors and having like a nice fresh breeze come in through the house this way. But uh, yeah, and this is a little fire pit I made. I wanted to make it look rocky, you know, like there are rocks surrounding it. Don't know if I succeeded with this, but I don't know. I like it. And here are some logs you can sit on. And uh, and then this is just like a little umbrella table with some chairs. Just thought that would look nice here next to the fire pit. This is a small garden. You can grow some fresh organic veggies here. And this is a little compost thing. You can compost your stuff here and bring it over to your garden if you want to. And then, um, so now I'm going to show you the bedroom and the bathroom. Uh, it's through this little hallway. It's kind of, I kind of did it this way so that this person could have some privacy, you know, the small hallways. You can barely, like, look into the bedroom this way. Uh, so this is the closet. Very big closet. Lots of, lots of storage space. I don't know how you're going to get up here, but I'm sure you can find the ladder and put some stuff here. Uh, another bookcase. This person is very well read. And... Uh, this is a bed. I used wool and snow for the uh, pillows. And a nice little fun trick that I just started doing. You can make a bouncy bed by uh, putting a slime block, block, uh, block here and putting carpet on top. And it just kind of looks like a little blanket here wrapped around the bed. And yeah, you can bounce on your bed in one spot, but who wants to jump on the side of the bed, you know? You should jump in the middle. Um, and this is uh, kind of an open, oops, an open bathroom because this person probably doesn't have a lot of people over, so they don't really care about being seen, although somebody could... That, that's my dryer. That's, that's my dryer saying that it's done drying my clothes. Thank you very much, Dryer. Uh, people could easily see through this gigantic window uh, into your shower, for sure. Yeah, right there, that window in that house over there can definitely see the shower, but that's okay. That's fine. Imagine there are giant curtains there. Um, so this is, this is a shower. You can put hot and cold water. I used banners and item frames to do this, uh, colored banners, obviously, and I, I think it's a nice little touch, it's a nice detail. Uh, this is supposed to be like a shower curtain, kind of to the side, 
and this is how I do toilets. It's just a hopper, iron blocks, button, and the uh, weighted pressure plate. I think it's the iron one. Uh, obviously, textures are kind of weird. Uh, yeah, weighted texture or weighted of <laughs> weighted pressure plate. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Actually, I can't talk like any day. Uh, this is a supposed to be toilet paper. It works, I think. And this is also a banner, and I found this online, and I think it's an awesome idea. You can just uh, make a mirror out of a banner. And sure, it flows, but I mean, that's fine. I think it looks amazing. And it's just a nice touch for like any wall, really. Not really just for the bathroom. Like, I think I put it somewhere in this house as well. Uh, oh, over there. Yeah. Just, you know, just a nice little decoration. And that is the entire house. It's a very small house, but I, I think it turned out nice. I will slowly be improving my building skills. I, I have been playing Minecraft for so many years since, since it began really. And I, I've, I'm still learning how to build. I'm still learning how to get better at doing certain things. And um, I don't know, I'm liking the style that I have right now. It's, it's not a dirt house, which is nice. And um, these, these are my other builds. I will make videos for those uh, soon. And <laughs> my boyfriend kind of left this cake here in the style of uh, World of Corrales. They leave cakes everywhere. Um, to show them, to show people that they like your build. Uh, I used to be a builder on there for a while, and then I got a new Minecraft account. So I have to reapply, which I am uh, hoping to do soon. I've been kind of putting it off, but I would really like to start building on that server again. It was really nice. I got a few cakes, which is a nice feeling when people give you cake, because cake is nice. Um, and also a lie, but, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed my build, um, and I hope you look forward to others. Oh, and also that's, um, that's a chimney, if, if you're wondering, but yeah, thank you, bye.